So I just finished eating dinner and did a salt water gurgle or a salt water rinse where I just turned my head. You can't really gurgle, but the swelling isn't too bad at all, to be honest. The only thing that's really bothering me is how everything's really numb. Pretty good so far. Took my pain meds. My head pack is on. He's visiting Yay! me. We're probably gonna binge watch some stuff because I'm we are. on bed rest. So excited. So. Oh, you can't even see. Going in and out. I'm supposed to be bedridden, but I really want a milkshake <laughs> and she really wants a burger. Yeah. So I got a cheese, I got an animal style cheeseburger. Can't really see it. The in and out sounds so good right now. Mm. Instead of vanilla milkshake. So good. I'm sorry, I can't rub it. I don't want to rub it. This it feels so weird. My lip, tongue, and chin is numb. Really? You're not even that swollen. I've seen people like way more. Yeah, I feel like knock on wood, but I've been so lucky with this. I yeah. Like pineapple juice. Mm hmm. So yummy. Morning everybody, it is day two. You can see that there is like minimal swelling, but I'm gonna do a salt water bath to rinse out my teeth. I used the ice pack this morning. I also took some Tylenol in the middle of the night and it hurts like when I touch my cheek. I'm also gonna drink some more pineapple juice, so. Pain, since I took the pain meds in the middle of the night, um, it's not too bad right now, but I can really feel how much more swollen it is. Just been in bed all day. But, day two. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> At this point, like last night, I was already hungry. I was on TikTok and I saw so many food recipe videos, but it's okay. I had my blended up porridge and soup and I'm gonna put the ice pack back on. There's like dried blood on the corners of my mouth and I'm like trying to wipe it off with like water. I also tried when I washed my face today to get it off, but my cheeks are so sensitive that I can't like vigorously wipe it off. So there's still some like blood residue. I can't wait until I can like fully get ready and on some makeup because even just doing my skincare and putting on lotion hurts. But for getting all four wisdom teeth out and only having this much swelling for day two is actually pretty good. Super grateful. It's just hard to eat and hard to drink drink because then after you eat like you always want to salt water rinse except you can't even gurgle your mouth like you have to slosh your head from side to side and then you have to let the liquid come out like you can't even spit it out it's just a whole process and my nails let's just ignore my nails at this point Hello everybody. I don't even want to vlog right now because I feel so swollen. I promised that I'd vlog so well, here it is. You can see that I'm so freaking swollen like on the bottom over here. It got pretty bad towards the end of the night. I feel like it's gonna get worse by tomorrow so I'm just gonna hydrate. I know that water is gonna help a lot and I'm gonna use the ice pack and take my pain meds. I think pain also peaks day three and this is day two. I'm gonna take two Tylenols. The gel or like this coating over the Tylenol really helps me like just get it down. The pain is like a little more painful than yesterday. I feel like yesterday my face was not swollen at all except for like right after the procedure and then like I took my pain mat so it was good but today I can definitely feel the inflammation. I was able to brush my teeth today so that was good. You can't brush your teeth day one so like I feel a lot more fresher in my mouth. This was given to me by the oral surgery place, so I didn't have to order this myself. I know for some places, like, they don't give it to you, so I was fortunate enough to be given this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's kind of hard, but...
Hello everybody, this is day three. You can definitely see that this side of my face is like a little more puffy than this side. Pain levels, definitely so much more painful today. Um, the blood is coming out again, so that's that's fun it just feels so inflamed and painful it hurts but i was expecting that because online says day three to four is usually when pain and swelling peaks my mom made me some tofu egg soup so i was able to slowly eat that and just swallow the tofu and egg so that was yummy i feel like minecraft but that's okay it's like mainly just like the bottom angles of the cheek but we're getting through it took so many pain meds today it hurts so badly it's like super uncomfortable and i can feel like the top wisdom teeth being painful today usually i can only feel the bottom so <laughs> Day four update, nighttime edition. Swelling is still here. Not too bad, honestly. I'm just gonna continue drinking more water. I think drinking a lot of water has been helping so much lately and just always icing when you can. Like whenever I feel that it starts to hurt, I will ice immediately. So right after I finish my dinner, I'm gonna ice it again, but it's always this side that's like a little more inflamed than that side. I'm hoping my peak swelling and pain was day three because it seems pretty good so far today. So pretty, pretty good. This is officially the day six update. You can see that the swelling is already going down. So it did peak around day four, day five. Honestly, right now, the only thing is just the discomfort. So I've been really on top of my pain meds. I just took two Tylenol pills, but everything honestly seems to be going pretty well right now. I think it's all downhill from here for the swelling. I feel like there's not that much that I can further share with you guys in terms of my recovery. Like if I continue filming the next few days, I think everything's good. Like the swelling, swelling's going down, you know? With that, I wanted to share the thing that has helped me during this week and the things that I've noticed have a big impact on the recovery of just this wisdom teeth removal process in general. So for the first five days of my wisdom teeth recovery, I slept sitting completely up so the directions were to just sleep on like an elevated pillow but i decided to just sleep in a sitting up position and i put pillows behind my back so that it would be a little more comfortable really helps me with my swelling because even in general like when you go to sleep and when you wake up you are generally a little bit more puffier in the face because of the gravity of everything granted sleeping up is less comfortable but i do believe that that has made an impact on how puffed up my face got. I did notice when I would lay down, just the pressure of it all being on that flat angle, you could feel more pressure in the jaws and in your mouth in general. So I just got rid of that all together and just slept sleeping up these past five nights. Second thing I did was I kept super hydrated. So this cup right here, I just kept on refilling it and refilling it. I like just felt better in general. If you have a similar recovery process as me, I just stayed at home this past week. I barely went out, so you tend to feel like less energetic as well since you're just sitting in your room, I guess. So drinking a lot of water helped like restore some energy. It also helped me feel healthier, better, and I started consciously drinking more water like day two. So day three and four, even though those were my puffier days, like it just felt so much better to be super hydrated during this time, especially since you're also healing, your, your body is healing. So water definitely helps with that process. Like in general it's gonna aid your healing process along goes with the pineapple juice so i did drink that jug before my wisdom teeth procedure and you can see if you go back on my day one clips that i wasn't really that puffy and i didn't really get that much puffy at all during this week as well because i've seen some wisdom teeth removal procedures where they're like they got really puffy so i don't know if the pineapple juice was really that magical trick but 
just in case that it was, I kept on drinking pineapple juice throughout this week as well. So water combined with also continuing to drink pineapple juice, I didn't get that puffy and I was so happy. The next thing that I would recommend is to stay on top of your meds. So for whatever cycle that your dentist or oral surgeon provided for you, I say stick with that to a T. There would be days where I was just like, mm, I'll just take it a little later and then the pain would come. And when the pain comes, it's so uncomfortable and like sometimes unbearable so then i would take the med and it would be too late because then i'm sitting in that pain as the med kicks in because the medicine's not going to kick in like right away so i say stay on top of your meds for me it hurt the most day four and five so day three you're going to start feeling more uncomfortable day two you kind of feel it but it starts to get worse like day three and then day four and five is when it's like peak discomfort you want to also keep on top of your ice pack if you know you're not going to be provided one then i say order one from amazon they're pretty affordable that face pack really helped a lot i would always use it when i would have pain and that also numbed down the pain for me and the ice also helps with your swelling as well and then the last thing would be to get a lot of rest and sleep your wisdom teeth removal if you think about it i don't really know the logistics of it but you're like taking out these four teeth tooths that are essentially bulging into your mouth so you need to take them out they're not they don't belong there so you're taking them out you're creating a hole in your mouth your body needs time to heal from that so you need to build your immunity during this time to heal from that building your immunity means sleep staying on top of your vitamins even if you're not really good at taking pills like me my mom made me so many green smoothies so that was really good for me as well i was getting like my antioxidants and my greens in but i think the main thing really is just sleep i took so many naps during the day especially during the nights when it would hurt so much and i would constantly wake up and not have like a full night's rest of sleep like those naps really did help so sleep was just so important in healing my body and healing my face so that was a really good one to help with my process as well that basically sums up everything i did this week to help aid my wisdom teeth removal recovery process thank you so much for following me along this week i hope you enjoyed this video and the previous one if you already watched like how i prepared for the wisdom teeth removal as well and it's getting late so i'm just gonna go to sleep now i'll see you guys in the next video